just want to say my name is Renika. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I've been a victim of job loss, eviction, and displacement, meaning that I have been homeless along with my children for six months now. From shelter to shelter. We're not here asking for handouts. We're here because we want the, the God-given right to have a home and not to live on the streets. That is my demand. My demand is that they turn over those homes and let us, at an affordable rate, rent those homes. I've been fighting with Chase Bank for over two years for my home of 12 years. They gave me the runaround. As it turned out, they were doing that on the Safeo of Freddie Mac. And I'm here to let Freddie Mac, we're here to take our homes back. Okay? Yeah. Because we need yeah. more than yeah. We need yeah. more than yeah. yeah. homes more than Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae need one more. Come they have 250,000 homes across the country that they let sit up rot while we sit outside homeless. Do they care? No! So Freddie Mac, we're here from Minnesota. Yeah. 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 You know what, Freddie Mac? You and US Bank trying to take our house. Yeah. You know what? It's not gonna happen. Yeah. 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 You are not gonna take a house away from a United States veteran. No. I can guarantee you that. Yeah. It's our house, and we're not giving it up! DeMarco! Listen up! Listen up real clear. Because just when you think you only tap into one set of people, it's trickling down to everybody else. I never thought that I had anything to do with this fight because I'm a renter. Everybody else owns their home. You understand? Everybody else owns their home. But, as a matter of fact, you're all renters. Because you are renting to the biggest of them Watch all, the slumlord, which are Ed DeMarco, Freddie, Freddie Mac, and Fannie Mae. Your neighbors should know that you are criminal. Too far in the street. Yeah. Back up. You are criminal and you should be prosecuted. How many people have died waiting for you? to do something. How many people, how many more people have to go under stress and strike, end up in hospitals because you have put them in that position? Is it fair? No. No. Will we have it? No. No. Are these people leaving their homes? No. no. They're gonna stand up and they're gonna fight you to the core. I bought a house when I was 23. It was one of the proudest days of my life. I saved for three years. I My parents were both renters and so it wasn't only a big deal for me, it was a big deal for them too. I don't know about y'all, but I was raised to believe that home ownership was the best investment yes, sir. that I could make in my future, yes, right. and my children's future, yes. and their children's future. Yes, right. And so that's why it was such a big deal for me. Well, it's 12 years later, and I've just gotten back up to date on my payments. I'm $45,000 underwater, and it is the single greatest financial burden of my whole life. I have given up on the, the dream of home ownership. To me, I see that that's a sham now. Yes. What, what we need now 
is community-controlled housing. We need homes controlled by the people that live there. And so my challenge today to Fannie Mae and to Ed DeMarco is to allow me to give my house to the neighborhood that it resides in. To simply, because I don't want my house to go to a random investor That's in right. White Plains, New York, yeah. or some other country that just wants to strip profit from that neighborhood, right? right. We don't need, and my, my neighborhood doesn't need another boarded up house either, which is what's going to happen, another crime magnet. So that's my challenge today. Allow me to give my house away, to establish it as a land trust, and let the people in the neighborhood that are struggling use it.